Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today's Monday, September 16th, 2024. Today we're going to do college football, NFL, MLB, soccer, WNBA, golf, NASCAR, Formula One, news and notes, and my best bet. College football will start today only because I just want to change things up for the podcast for Monday for once. So we'll recap the games and then we'll do NFL. Um... So, Friday, UNLV beats Kansas 23-20, so I chose the wrong game for best bet. Number 14, Kansas State over number 20, Arizona, 31-7. That's what I should have went for best bet. Saturday, number 4, Alabama over Wisconsin, 42-10. Number 13, Oklahoma State over Tulsa, 45-10. Number 16, LSU over South Carolina, 36-33. Number 17, Michigan over Arkansas State, 28-18. Illinois over Central Michigan, 30-9. Memphis over Florida State, 20-12. NC State over Louisiana Tech, 30-20. Cincinnati over Miami of Ohio, 27-16. Texas Tech over North Texas, 6-6-21. Number 6, Missouri over number 24, Boston College, 27-21. Buffalo over UMass, 34-3. Coastal Carolina over Temple, 28-20. Number 9, Oregon over Oregon State, 49-14. Number 15, Oklahoma over Tulane, 34-19. Number 18, Notre Dame over Purdue, 6-6-7. Texas A&M beats Florida 33-20. Michigan State over Prairie View 40-0. Nevada over or Minnesota over Nevada 27-0. Wazoo over Washington 24-19. Georgia Tech over VMI 59-7. Pitt over West Virginia 38-34. Ohio over Morgan State 21-6. Iowa over Troy 38-21. App State over East Carolina 21-19. Arkansas over UAB 37-27. Number 12 Utah over Utah State 38-21. Number 10, Miami over Ball State, 62-0. Duke over UConn, 26-21. And North Carolina over NC Central, 45-10. Virginia Tech over Old Dominion, 37-17. Liberty over UTEP, 28-10. Georgia Southern over SC State, 42-14. Akron over Colgate, 31-20. Charlotte over Gardner-Webb, 27-26. Number 5, Ole Miss over Wake Forest, 40-6. West Michigan over Bethune, 59-31. Number 2, Texas over UTSA, 56-7. Georgia State upsets Vanderbilt 36-32. Eastern Michigan beats Jacksonville State 37-34, double overtime. San Jose State over Kennesaw State 31-10. Western Kentucky over Middle Tennessee 49-21. Sam Houston over Hawaii 31-13. Southern Flo- or South Florida over Southern Miss 49-24. Number one, Georgia over Kentucky 13-12. Number 23, Nebraska over Northern Iowa 34-3. Auburn over New Mexico 45-19. Toledo over Mississippi State 41-17. So the money line hit. Um, Indiana over UCLA, 42-13. Baylor over Air Force, 31-3. Colorado over Colorado State, 28-9. UCF over TCU, 35-34. Northwestern over Eastern Illinois, 31-7. FAU over FIU, 38-20. Number 7, Tennessee over Kent State, 71-0. Maryland over Virginia, 27-13. Houston over Rice, 33-7. BYU over Wyoming, 34-14. Cal over San Diego State, 31-10. And Fresno State over New Mexico State, 48-0. So... Fun college football weekend, and then obviously um, week four is going to be an interesting week as well. Now move on to the NFL. Um, we'll go over the results from the weekend and look ahead to Monday night football tonight. Raiders over the Ravens, 26-23. Browns over the Jaguars, 18-13. Um... Jets over the Titans, 24-17. Vikings over the 49ers, 23-17. So I hit that underdog money line, too. I don't remember the last time both my underdog money lines hit. So that's um exciting. Um, Chargers over the Panthers, 26-3. Commanders over the Giants, 21-18 on seven field goals. Giants scored three touchdowns, but their kicker got hurt. Um, Just crazy and inexplicable. Bad teams find ways to lose games. Talking about the Giants. Um... Saints over the Cowboys, 44-19. That's, the for me, the most surprising result of the day. Buccaneers over the Lions, 20-16. to That was another surprising result. So is this one by some people. Packers over the Colts, 16-10. to Cardinals over the Rams, 41-10. Steelers over the Broncos, 13-6. Chiefs over the Bengals, 26-25 on a game-winning field goal by Harrison Bucker. Texans over the Bears, 19-13 on Sunday Night Football. And then tonight, 8.15, ESPN, Falcons, Eagles, Joe Buck, Troy Aikman, Lisa Salter's on the call. Um, 
Big news of the weekend regarding ESPN and ABC. They worked out the deal with DirecTV. So that is really good news for DirecTV carriers that they get ESPN Family of Networks back. Because they missed out on Monday Night Football. Um, they missed out on the U.S. Open last weekend. And now that it came back yesterday, all is right in the world with, um, DirecTV and, um, Disney. So, um, that's a big story from the weekend that should be in news and notes, but I want to share it here because... The game's on ESPN tonight, and um, I just thought of it. So, my projection with A.J. Brown out is Eagles by 7.5. Total 45 at 11.20. It's... And it's 5.5 and, and 46.5. And um, I'm still going to lay the points of the Eagles. Um... I think this could be the Saquon Barkley show. Devontae Smith could go wild. Gar- Dallas Goddard hurts with his leg. So, like, the Eagles have more avenues to win the game, even without A.J. Brown. Yes, that's a big loss. But I think they still have the talent to overcome it. So I'm going to lay the 5.5 with the Eagles against Atlanta. All right, now I'll move on to baseball. Um, We'll go over the results from the weekend and look ahead to Today's games um, will be given Friday. Um, Tigers over those one nothing. Royals over the Pirates eight three. Mets over the Phillies eleven to three. Nats over the Marlins for one. Jays over the Cards four three and eleven on a walk off single by Alejandro Kirk. Yankees over Red Sox five four. Yankees were down four nothing. Aaron Judge hit a go ahead grand slam in the bottom of the seventh of that game, ending his sixteen game homerless drought. Rays over the Guardians 3 1. Braves over the Dodgers 6 2. A's over the White Sox 2 0. Reds over the Twins 8 4. Rockies over the Cubs 9 5. Astros over the Angels 5 3. Brewers over the Dimex 2 1. Mariners over the Rangers 5 4. Padres over the Giants 5 0. And then Saturday, Royals over the Pirates 5 1. Red Sox over the Yankees 7 1. Blue Jays over the Cardinals 7 2. Nats over the Marlins 4 1. Phillies over the Mets 6 4. O's over the Tigers 4 2. Guardians over the Rays 6 1. Reds over the Twins, 11-1. White Sox over the A's, 6-7-6. Braves over the Dodgers, 10-1. Rockies over the Cubs, 6-5-10. On a walk-off single by Brenton Doyle. Brewers over the Diamondbacks, 15-8. Padres over the Giants, 8-0. Astros over the Angels, 5-3. Mariners over the Rangers, 5-4. Then yesterday, Tigers over the O's, 4-2. Twins over the Reds, 9-2. Yankees over the Red Sox, 5-2. Pirates over the Royals, 4-3. Nats over the Marlins, 4-3. Phils over the Mets, 2-1. Jays over the Cardinals, 3-2. Guardians over the Rays, 2-0. White Sox over the Ace, 4-3. Cubs over the Rockies, 6-2. Padres over the Giants, 4-3-10. Astros over the Angels, 6-4. D-backs over the Brewers, 11-10. In 10 on A. Walk-off single by Eugenio Suarez. Mariners over the Rangers, 7-0. And the Dodgers over the Braves, 9-2. On Sunday Night Baseball. All right, all evening games tonight, 6.30. You have the Twins at the Guardians. AL Central Showdown. Pablo Lopez, Matthew Boyd. Matthew Boyd's been uh, terrific for Cleveland. Stepping in that rotation. The Twins are minus 118. The Guardians are even money over under 7.5. Overs minus 118. Unders minus 104. Twins minus 1.5 plus 146. Guardians plus 1.5 is minus 176. I'm taking the Twins at even... Or, I'm sorry, the Guardians at even money. But with the game on the field. 7 o'clock, Nats, Mets. Jake Irvin and Sean Maniah. Mets got to win this series. They got swept by the Phillies. They got to win. They're minus 184. The Nats are plus 154 over under 7.5. Minus 10 each way. Nats plus 1.5 is minus 40. Mets minus 1.5 plus 116. I like the over. This is a smash bounce back spot for the Met offense. 720, Dodgers, Braves. Yoshi Yamamoto and Max Freed. Dodgers minus 118, Braves even money over under 7.5, overs minus 114, others minus 106. 
Dodgers minus 1.5 is plus 140. Braves plus 1.5 is minus 70. I'm going with the under for that game. Easy. 7.30, Tigers-Royals. Um, Tigers, surprisingly, over 500. Um, they don't know who they're going with yet, and Seth Lugo is going for um, KC. Royals are minus 146. Tigers are plus 124. Over, under, 8.5. Over is minus 105. Under is minus 115. Tigers plus 1.5 is minus 182. Royals minus 1.5 is plus 150. I'm going to go with the under, too, because of the hook. Ace Cubs. Joey Estes and Shomi Imanaga. So the Cubs got to bounce back after losing to the Rockies. Um, they're minus 188. The A's are plus 158. Over under 7.5. Over is minus 118. Under is minus 104. A's plus 1.5 is minus 138. Cubs minus 1.5 plus 115. This is a bet on Imanaga, so I'm going to go with the under. Phillies Brewers. Ranger Suarez and Aaron Savali. Um... Phillies minus 120, Brewers plus 102 for under 8, overs minus 8, unders minus 112. Phillies minus 1 half is plus 40, Brewers plus 1 half is minus 170. Um, so the Brewers are on their way to the division crown. Um, I'm going to go with the over, but I don't feel strong about it. Um, 745 Pirates, Cardinals. Um, Paul Skeens and Andre Palante. Pirates minus 136, Cardinals plus 116, over under 7. Overs minus 122, unders even money. Pirates minus 1F is plus 3, Cards plus 1F is minus 156. Um, this is a tough one, but I'll go with the under at even money. Um, 830, D backs, Rockies. Merrill Kelly and Antonio Sensatella. I don't think Sensatella has pitched all year. Um, Diamondbacks minus 172, Rockies plus 144, over under 11, overs minus 115, unders minus 105. D-backs minus 1 half is minus 115, Rockies plus 1 half is minus 102. I'm going to do the running line with the Diamondbacks. 930, White Sox, Angels, East. That's a bad one. Now, Jonathan Cannon and Reed Detmers. Angels minus 178, White Sox plus 150, over under 8, overs minus 112, unders minus 108. White Sox plus 1 half is minus 40. Angels minus 1 half plus 116. I like the over. And last but not least, Astros, Padres. World Series preview potentially. Um, Spencer Argetti and you Darvish. Um, Padres minus 3. Astros plus 110 over under 7 half. Overs minus 124. Unders plus 102. Astros plus 1 half is minus 196. Padres minus 1 half is plus 162. I don't think I've done this yet, but or at least on today's show. But. Um, because I know I've done it pretty much on every other show. I do baseball, and I haven't taken an outright dog yet. I'm going to do Houston at plus 110. Oh, wait, I did take the Guardians, but, like, that was even money. This is over even money. All right, now I'll move on to soccer. Um, we'll go over the notable results from the weekend. And, like, I had anything going on today. Um, Premier League. Um, Man United over Southampton three 0 Ipswich Brighton nil nil draw. Leicester Crystal Palace two two draw. Fulham West Ham one one draw. Nottingham Forest over Liverpool one 0 Man City over Brentford two one. Aston Villa over Everton three two. And Chelsea over Bournemouth one 0 And then yesterday Arsenal over Tottenham one 0 and Newcastle over Wolves two one. MLS. Saturday, Nashville over Atlanta, 2-0. Montreal over Charlotte, 2-1. Uh, D.C., NYCFC, 1-1 draw. Cincy, Columbus, 0-1 draw. Miami over Philly, 3-1. Orlando over New England, 3-0. Toronto over Austin, 2-1. Chicago over the Red Bulls, 2-1. Houston over Sully, 4-1. Minnesota over St. Louis, 3-1. Colorado over Portland, 2-1. Galaxy over LAFC, 4-2. And Vancouver over San Jose, 2-0. And then yesterday, Seattle over KC, 2-0. All right, Women's League. Um, Friday, North Carolina Bay FC, 1-1 draw. Orlando KC, 0-0 draw. Chicago over Portland, 1-0. Saturday, Louisville over Angel City, 2-1. San Diego over Utah, 2-1. Yesterday, Washington over Houston, 3-0. And then there's a game today at 10 o'clock, CBS Sports Network. Seattle's hosting Gotham. Um, Monday, 
So I'm going to pull that up. Um, because I assume Seattle's favored. But you never know. Gotham is really good. Um, Gotham's actually favored. Minus 125. My bad. Seattle's plus 340. Drop plus 50. That's absurd. I wouldn't have guessed that. Um, I actually like Seattle for the outright upset at plus 340. And I usually don't go against Gotham often on the podcast. All right. Liga MX on Friday. Playbook Carat- and, uh, blah. Playbook over Caratero 2 1. Atlas over Pachuca 2 0. Juarez over Mazelton 1 0. Tigres over Athletic San Luis 1 0. The Cox over Unam 2 0. Saturday, Toluca over Tijuana 4 0. America over Guadalajara 1 0. Cruises over Leon 2 1. Monterrey over Santos 2 0. No games until tomorrow. Um, Bundesliga Friday, Dortmund over Hedenheim 4 2. Saturday, Stuttgart over Glabach 3 1. RP Leafs and in Berlin, 0 0 draw. Freiburg over Bochum 2 1. Leverkusen over Hoffenheim 4 1. Frankfurt over Wolfsburg 2 1. Bayern over Holstein Kiel 6 1. And then yesterday, Augsburg over St. Pauli 3 1. And Bremen over Mainz 2 1. La Liga Friday, Batista over Laganas 2 0. Saturday, Villarreal over Morlocca 2-1. Espanol over Alaves 3-2. Steel over Getafe 1-0. And Real Madrid over El Sociedad 2-0. And then yesterday, Celta Vigo over Valladolid 3-1. Barcelona over Girona 4-1. Atletico over Las Palmas 3-2. And Atletico over Valencia 3-0. All right, today at 3 o'clock, you have Rayo and Osasuna. Um, Rayo plus 105, Osasuna plus 90, drop plus 210. Um, looking at the table early, Rayo's 15th minus 1, and Osasuna is 10th at minus 2, goal differential is 7 points. Um, so these two teams, in my opinion, are pretty even, so I'm going to go with the draw, plus 210. Syria, Saturday, Bologna, Como, 2-2 two, two, draw, Empoli, Juventus, 0-0 nil, nil, draw, Milan over Venezia, 4-0. Yesterday, Genoa, AS Roma, 1-1 draw at Milan over Fiorentina, 3-2. Torino Lecce, 0-0 draw. Napoli over Cagliari, 4-0. Monza, Inter Milan, 1-1 draw. All right, two games today. 12-30, you have Parma and Udinese. Parma plus 3, Udinese plus 2-10, draw plus 2-20. Udinese is in fifth. And Parma's in 12th. I don't like it, but I'm about to drop plus 220. And then 245 is Lazio Verona. Verona is way better than they were last season. They're up to sixth, although it's early. And then Lazio is in 11th. Um, Lazio minus 190, Verona 5 to 1. The draw is 3 to 1. I'm going with the draw at 3 to 1. French League 1, Friday, St. Etienne over Lille 1 0. Saturday, Marcel over Nice 2 0. Monaco over Auxerre 3 0. PSG over Brest 3 1. And yesterday, Rennes over Montpellier 3 0. Reims over Nantes 2 1. Strasbourg, Angers 1 1 draw. Toulouse over Le Havre AC 2 0. And Lens Lyon 0 0 draw. We have Champions League tomorrow, so you got to remember that. For uh, tomorrow's show, um, USL from Saturday, Detroit over Mexico 1 0, Indy over El Paso 3 1, Loudon over Birmingham 4 2, Hartford over Miami FC 3 0, Tampa over Pittsburgh 2 1, Colorado over Charleston 2 0, Memphis over North Carolina 3 0, Tulsa loses to Louisville 1 0, San Antonio over Oakland 1 0, Orange County over Rhode Island 1 0, Sacramento over Phoenix 2 0, Vegas, Monterey Bay 0 0 draw. Next, we have um, ELC. Friday, 
Sheffield United over Hull 2 0. Saturday, Burnley over Leeds 1 0. Luton over Moa 1 0. Oxford United over Stoke 1 0. Blacken over Bristol City 3 0. Derby over Cardiff 1 0. Burrow Preston 1 1 draw. Plymouth over Sunderland 3 2. Sheffield Wednesday KPR 1 1 draw. Swansea over Norwich City 1 0. Watford Coventry 1 1 draw. Then yesterday, West Brom over Portsmouth. Portsmouth 3 0. Dutch Air Devizy. Saturday. FC 28 PEC Swale 1 1 draw. PSV over NEC 2 0. FC Groningen Feyenoord 2 2 draw. NAC Braid over Fortuna 1 0. And AZ Alkmaar destroys Heron V 9 1. Yesterday, God Eagles over Sparta 2 1. Ajax after Utrecht postpone. Will M2 over RKC, Waldrick 3 0. And Heraclius of Matter City 0 draw. We have Dutch Air Devizy tomorrow. Scottish Premiership. Um, Saturday, Aberdeen over Motherwell 2 1. Celtic over Hearts 2 0. Hibernian over St. John's 2 0. Ross County over Dundee 2 0. St. Mary Kilmarnock 2 2 draw. And then yesterday, Rangers over Dundee United 1 0. And last but not least, the Saudi Pro League. Um, Friday, Al Tawood over Al Khalij 2 0. Damak over Al Octo 3 1. Al Nasser Al Ali 1 1 draw. Saturday, Al Eddie Fak over Al Fateh 2 1. Al Raid over Al Faya 1 or 5 0. And Al Halal over Al Raida 3 0. Yesterday, Al Shabab over Al Kadisia 1 0. Al Khalod over and Al Urba 3 3 draw. And Al Idiot over Al Waida 7 1. Saudi Pro League comes back Thursday. So there you have it for all the soccer. Now we'll do WNBA from the weekend. Um. There's only like three ga- days left of the regular season in terms of games. Or two. Two. Tomorrow and Thursday. Maybe you'll get uh, Jeff Maglicetti on the podcast at some point to preview the playoffs. Um, so Friday, um, Mystics over to Dream 72-69. Aces over to Fever 78-74. Storm over to Wings 83-81. Lynx over to Sky 83-66. Sun over to Mercury 88-69. And yesterday, the Fever over to Wings 110-109. Lynx over to Liberty 88-79. Dream over to Mystic 76-73 in overtime. Mercury over to Sky 93-88. Aces over to Sun 84-71. And the Storm over to Sparks 90-87. So no games until tomorrow, and I will preview and pick them on tomorrow's show. Now move on to golf. Um, We'll go over the results from the tournament this past weekend, which was the Fortnite Championship. Your winner with the score 20 under, Pat Gazier, second 15 under, Davis Lipsky, third with 14 under, Paul Fishburne, tied for fourth with 13 under, Grace C. Um, Mackenzie Hughes and Ben Silverman. Tied for 7th, 12 under. Taylor Hoax, Heath Diglia, Austin Smotherman, Justin Lauer, Corey Connors. 12 of 10 under. Keith Mitchell, tied for 13th with 9 under. Kevin Tway, Adam Swepson, Lucas Glover, Matt Kuchar, Wesley Bryan, Brandon Wu, Zach Blair, Nate Shipley, Joe Highsmith, Wilson Furr, Chandler Phillips, Raja Campos, John Kiefer, Tied for 26 with 8 under. Kevin Chappell, J.J. Spawn, Charlie Hoffman, Sean Kim, Brant Necker, Grayson Higo. Tied for 32nd with 7 under. Cesar Ray, Jonathan Vegas, um, Min Woo Lee, Webb Simpson, Bud Cawley. Tied for 37th with 6 under. S.M. Bay, Justin Sue, Patrick Rogers, Roger Sloan, Scott Stevens, Ben Hale Jr., Rico Hoey. I'm sorry, Blaine Hale Jr. Tied for 44th with... Five under Adam Putnam, Brendan Todd, and David Skins. Tied for 47th with four under Doug Ginn, Martin Laird, Trevor Whitney. Tied for 50th with three under um, Alex Baddeley, Jason Hadley, Joel Dahman, J.B. Holmes, Tom Johnson, Nate Hardy, Michael from Jordanson, and Luke Clampton. Tied for 58th with two under Matthias Schmidt, Chad Ramey, and Pearson Cootie. Tied for 61st with one under Henry Gorlander, Lucas Griffin, and Josh Teeter. Now we're going to do notables. 
Tied for 61st to 1. I'm sorry, tied for 64th to 2 over Ben Coles, Kevin Doherty, and among those cut, Nate Watney, Danny Willett, Taylor Montgomery, Harry Springer, Eric Cole, Matt Neesmith, Carson Young, Nate Taylor, Robbie Shelton, Ryan Brem, Adam Shank, Max Homo, Wyndham Clark, Harry English, George Singh, Kevin Kisner, Mark Hubbard, Ben Taylor, Hayden Buckley, Matt McNeely, Ryan Palmer, Russell Knox, Matt Trainer, Tyson Alexander, Tyler Duncan, James Hong, Callum Tarrin, Troy Merritt, Nate Lashley, Kevin Strowman, Kelly Craft, Bill Hustler, Sam Ryder, Alex Smalley, Mac Meisner, Vincent Whaley, Lucas Hodges, Cam Champ, Daniel Brigger, Gary Woodland, Nicholas Ekavria, Kyungu Lee, Chris Goddard, Camilo Vegas, YC1, SH Kim, Joseph Bermlett, Austin Cook, Bill Haas, I'm sorry, Bill Haas, Sean O'Hare, and in withdrawing, CZ Pond and Eric Barnes, others cut, Parker Cootie, Trevor Crow, Paul Bargen. So there you have it for the Fortnite Championship. Next one is Sanderson, which is not until October. So they have a little bit of a break. All right, NASCAR. Um, we'll go over the weekend's results from Watkins Glen. And friendly reminder, truck race Thursday. So we got to do trucks on the Thursday podcast this week. Um, so Xfinity from the Glen. Um, your winner, Connor Zilch, coming in second, Sheldon Creed, third, Asia Almendinger, fourth, Chandler Smith, fifth, Shane Van Gisbergen, sixth, Ross Chastain, seventh, Parker Quigerman, eighth, Jesse Love, ninth, Joey Logano, tenth, Josh Baliki, the rest... Austin Green, William Byron, Riley Herbs, Parker Retzlaff, Ryan Ellis, Leyland Honeyman, Justin Algier, Jeremy Clements, Sammy Smith, Sam Meyer, Cole Custer, Ryan Sieg, Brennan Poole, Eric Jones, Ty Gibbs, Eric Almarola, R.C. Anderson, Brandon Jones, Thomas Anaziata, Mike Skeen, Jeb Burton, Josh Williams, Austin Hill, Anthony Alfredo, Matt DiBendetto, Austin Day, Kyle Sieg, and Kyle Weatherman. And in the Cup Series from the Glen, your winner, Chris Boucher, second, Shane Van Gisbergen, third, Carson Osvar, fourth, Ross Chastain, fifth, St. Smith, sixth, Chase Briscoe, seventh, Michael Dowell, eighth, Corey LaJoy, ninth, Ryan Priest, tenth, Austin Sindrick, the rest, Noah Gragson, Kyle Larson, Daniel Suarez, Chris Bell, Joey Logano, Todd Gillan, Bubba Wallace, Alec Bowman, Chase Elliott, Martin Truex Jr., John Hunter Nemechek, Ty Gibbs, Denny Hamlin, Harrison Burton, Josh Berry, Brad Kozlowski, Tyler Riddick, Austin Dillon, J- or Justin Haley, Kyle Busch, Daniel Hemrick, Juan Pablo Montoya, um, Eric Jones, Wesley Bra- or William Byron, Kaz Grala, AJ Almendinger, Ricky Sanders Jr., and Ryan Blaney. So there you have it. For NASCAR, now we'll do one from the weekend. And F1 was the Azerbaijan Grand Prix from Baku Sikhet. Or Baku City Circuit. Your winner, Oscar Piastri, second, Charles Leckrick, third, Gage Russell, fourth, Lando Norris, fifth, Max Verstappen, sixth, Fernando Alonso, seventh, Alex Albon, eighth, Franco Calapinto, uh, ninth, Lewis Hamilton, tenth, Oliver Behrman, the rest. Nico Hulkenberg. Pierre Gasly. Daniel Ricciardo. G.Y. Zhu. Esteban Ocon. Valtteri Botas. Sergio Perez. Carlos Sainz Jr. Lance Stroll. And Yuki Tsunoda. 
So there you have it for Formula 1. Next weekend, they are at the Singapore Grand Prix and at Marina Bay Street Circuit. So um, we have that, and then they're off for a month, and then they're in Vegas. So that's um, very interesting. All right. Here's the notes for today. Um, we hit it earlier with DirecTV and Disney getting that deal done. That's important for both sides that that was completed. Um, some awful soccer news. Um, Donnie Almo out for five weeks with a hamstring injury after three goals in three games for Barcelona. That is brutal soccer news. I mean, brutal. Um, let's see how it affects them in Champions League and La Liga. But yeah, that's a big, big, big loss. And the other big story from the weekend... We had, two. we had the Emmys last night on ABC. Um, and that was the other thing that the uh, DirecTV people got to see. At least they got that was done before the Emmys. Um, but yeah. Um, so Hacks, Shogun, Cat Ladies, big nights for them. Um, and then the other big news story... Yesterday is that Donald Trump was almost shot again at his Florida golf club. And they caught the suspect who was in custody and Trump is safe, which is good news. But good job that that suspect was caught. And I'm just glad that uh, Trump's okay. But yeah, at his Florida golf club. I want to say that's in West Palm Beach. Yeah, West Palm Beach. Um, all right, so some football stuff. Um, a lot of injuries. Um. So, Isaiah Pacheco left on crutches as he's having testing done on his ankle. Not great for Kansas City. Justin Jefferson left the game with the quad injury yesterday in the Vikings' upset win. He says he's ready to go. Um, Vita Veda, MCL sprain despite the win yesterday against the uh, Lions. Cooper Cup hurt his ankle, which is yet another injury for the Rams. Jets linebacker Jermaine Johnson, brutal injury for him. Torn Achilles, that's a big loss for the Jets defense. Um, C.J. Mosley got hurt too with a foot injury, so the Jets had a a much-needed win, but a couple of big injuries there. Um, DeForest Buckner hurt, ankle injury. He was carted off. That's not good for Indy. Evan Ingram got injured pregame for the Jaguars with a hamstring injury. Um, AJ Brown out. We talked about that already with the hamstring injury. Christian McCaffrey could miss six weeks as he may need longer to heal from Achilles tendonitis. Um, that's brutal. Oh my God! Hollywood Brown out for the regular season as he's not expected to return from so- shoulder surgery any sooner than January. Oh, my God. I mean, that's a really bad trade by the Chiefs, let's be honest. I mean, if Worthy's good, I mean, Worthy's been really good so far, and they still have Rasheed Rice, but that's like a wasted trade. Like, he might not even play the whole season. Um, Jordan Love is eyeing a week five return. Um... So that was important that the Packers got that done today. Malik Willis actually wasn't terrible. So um, we'll see if the Packers tread water here. I think if they get one more win before Jordan Love comes back, then they're in good shape. And the Rams are literally missing their whole team pretty much. And 
that's, I mean, not that Blake Willis is some stud or whatever, but it just proves that it's not all about the quarterback. Like, NFL is a team sport, not a quarterback sport. Like, you don't need a great quarterback, you need great quarterback play, or at least decent quarterback play. And I think Minnesota's even showing that too. Um, Tua Tungavaloa not retiring from the NFL as he plans to return to the field when he and his doctors deem him healthy. And he is meeting with um, neurologists, which is good. Jay Glazer clarifies the, the Deshaun Watson report as he says he didn't have protection clause for 24, for, to, from 2024 to 26, despite initial report that the Browns removed it. Hmm. And then it was, like I said, it was reported that the Browns removed it. And the original report said that they removed the um, clause and that the Browns could reclaim his money if he suspended again. Yesterday morning, it was reported that Fields could win the Steelers' job. Is Pittsburgh might stick with him, depending on what happens against the Broncos. Um, wasn't bad yesterday. Wasn't bad. But that, it was more of that defense than him, though. Jamar Chase done negotiating as he feels missled by Bengals and has no plan to negotiate long-term deal this season. And he has a $50 million insurance policy as he's protecting potential loss earnings in case he gets hurt this season. Hassan Reddick loses around $8 million as he doesn't appear anywhere close to New Deal at this time. Um, Tyler Glass now offered a season, or likely offered a season with an elbow injury, um, as he suffered a setback on Friday. That is brutal for the Dodgers. Um, they have so many injuries, and they're going to still win that division. Um, weird Yankees subplot from the weekend. Um, Derek Coles was not good against the Red Sox, and he intentionally walked. And um, he hit Rafael Devers by a pitch. Al Tor, of course, comes out and says it was on purpose. I don't know if that was on purpose, but I'll tell you what was on purpose. Him walking Devers. And despite them losing 7-1, to one, I still think it was the right move by Garrett Cole because Rafael Devers has owned Garrett Cole. It's the right move. Just like pitchers pitching around Aaron Judge is the right move. And then the strategy, of course, didn't work as the Red Sox, that was the one game they won in that series. But um, we'll see. I mean, the Yankees probably aren't going to play them for the rest of the season because I think they went to Fenway twice and the Red Sox went to Yankee Stadium earlier in the year too. So um, good news for Garrett Cole is he gets to avoid them for the rest of the year. Um. Quinn Ewers got injured uh, as he hurt his ab, and it's not as serious as initially feared. As he's likely out this upcoming game as Arch Manning will start again. Um, Canelo Alvarez earns 62nd win as he keeps super middleweight titles after unanimous decision win over Edgar Belanga. And in the UFC main event, Um, Marab Dushavili beats Sean O'Malley by unanimous decision to win the Bantamweight gold in the um, UFC main event over the weekend. Um, so some NBA stuff. Um, the Caps give Isaac Okoro $38 million, three-year deal. Um, Celtics payroll caused... By owners rift as the Grossbeck family bulked at Celtics long term massive contracts. Oof. 
And that's coming off a title. So much drama with that team. Um, so LeBron James, Steph tension was realized. Best player in the world talk added extra element to those finals clashes. The Knicks signed Marcus Morris to an Exhibit 9 contract, so the Knicks are like, filling out their bench. Aja Wilson reaches 1,000 points as his first player in WNBA history with 1,000 points in a single season. And Caitlin Clark breaks the uh, rookie scoring record as she sets new WNBA single season rookie record with 746 points. And then Clay Thompson took Mavs on a boating trip as he already is building chemistry with his new team. So, there you have it for new to note. Last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, so, um, there's some baseball games that I liked on the board. I might do the Eagles as well, but not for best bet. Um, but there's a couple baseball totals that jumped out to me. And... I'm actually going to do a tenth of a unit. And I'm going to go with over seven and a half between the Nationals and the Mets. I just think that... Um, the Met offense will bounce back. Jake Irvin's mediocre. I like Sean Manaya, but um, he's not an ace, per se. So I'm just betting on this being like a 5-3 Met win. That's all I'm asking. 5-3 Mets, 6-2 Mets, something in that ballpark. 7-1 Mets works. So over 7F runs, minus 108. A tenth of a unit between the Nationals and the Mets. So, there you go with the show. And I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything. We'll head to everything. Tomorrow we'll have a portfolio pick with WNBA, Champions League, and a lot more. Maybe we'll do a round of NFL power rankings if um, we have time as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.